Large broadband switching systems employed in communication networks, command, control, data processing, television, and many other applications incorporate customized control subsystems to satisfy their specific operational needs. This film presents an example of the manner in which a system of this type might be operated. In this case, a CRT keyboard terminal is the man machine interface. The CRT terminal has many advantages over the teletypewriter terminals used previously. Most notable is the nearly instant readback available to the operator. When an operator starts to use the system, he is presented with this initial option display, showing all of the options available to him. The functions are patch, used to connect a single input to a single output. Unpatch, to disconnect a single input from a single output. Confirm, used to verify which input, if any, is connected to an output. Display, calls up on the CRT a list of connections in the switch. Stored program, used to set up and execute a series of connections or disconnections using a single command. The operator types the number of the option he desires in the Make Selection Here space, and the initial options are cleared, and the selected option is displayed. He is called for the patch option. The word patch in the upper left indicates which option he is in. The operator must fill in the input and output blanks with the plain English reference designators for the equipment to be connected. In this case, receiver 1, to recorder 27. After typing the desired input and output numbers, he depresses the transmit key, and the process controller commands the switching matrix to execute the instruction. When a confirmed signal from the matrix signifies that the command has been properly executed, the display changes thusly. To continue patching other inputs to other outputs, the operator enters a 9 in the make selection here position. This operation can be repeated as often as necessary. To return to the initial option menu, he types a 7. If he then types a 2, he is presented the unpatch option, as seen here. Again, he fills in the blanks and presses the transmit key. The process controller commands the matrix, receives confirmation back, and answers with this display. Here also, he may continue this option by typing a 9 or return to the menu by typing a 7. Option 3 provides a display which allows the operator to interrogate the system as to which input is connected to a particular output. In this case, Recorder 27 is the output he is interested in. The controller provides this display, showing that recorder 27 is connected to receiver 1. Option 4 provides either a roll-up display of a total list of all connections in the switcher, or all devices connected to any single item. This option is exited in the same manner as the previous ones. Asking for option 5 gives the operator access to six stored program options. Stored program display would allow him to view any previously stored program. Stored program setup allows him to change any existing program or generate a new program. Stored program execute patch allows the operator to patch up any stored set of connections. All unpatch provides a means to clear the matrices. Stored program execute unpatch allows him to unpatch any stored set of connections. Tape entry provides a means of patching or unpatching a set of connections stored on a prepared paper tape. Using these display sets and their instruction capability, while using reference designators, which are actually the real names of the devices being interconnected, the operator, with a minimum of training, can rapidly, accurately, and reliably perform any sort of matrix manipulations.